So hello and welcome back to Gumari's Coins and Banknotes and today we have half penny coins from 1942. So 1942 was actually a busy year for half penny coins. They produced them at three mints and I only have two mints here. So the 1941 is the missing mint. And we'll just get into the differences in a minute. But the mints are Melbourne Mint with 720,000, the Perth Mint with 4,334,000, and India with 6 million. And if we compare the coins together, we need to go to the half penny underneath. And what you're looking for is the mint marks. So for the India penny, you have a dot before and after. With the perf, you have a dot afterwards. This one's a bit uh, bit vague, so there's a die feel that's well known. And the Australian one, minted at Melbourne, has no mint mark before or after penny. And also, if you want to distinguish the dots on the 1942, you go on the obverse at the front of the coin, and then underneath the effigy, we have an eye represents India. So that's another way to distinguish the Australian and Indian coins. Uh, now, what would you be paying for one of these? Well, the Melbourne ones are about five times, four or five times as expensive as the Indian ones. And the Perth Mint. So these are very fine conditions. So these are probably about two to three dollars each. For the India and Perth. For Melbourne, you'll be paying ten dollars for one of these coins because it's a low mintage. Uh, but still, the mintage is lower than 1939, but 1939 seems to be more expensive. That'd be strange. So and goes all the way up to gem uncirculated so for a melbourne mint you'll be paying probably about eight nine hundred dollars and for the indian you probably about 450 and to uh yeah probably about 450 dollars so well even if you might see them for 250 if people really want to get rid of them so uh now we've got the prices out of the way what are the errors you're going to find on these coins? So most of the ones in the catalogs are from India. But if, like we have the Perth Mint here, most of those errors are die cracks. But there is a, a faint die feel in the dot, so the mint mark. This one seems to be a little bit faint. So this is the die feel. And if it's disappeared, then it's going to be confused with a Perth Mint, uh, Melbourne Mint, should I say. So, usually they use different fonts for the date system, but I don't see any differences in the in the 2, in the 4, in the 9. Uh, there's a little bit in the 1, seems to be a bit thicker, but that's about it. And the Kangaroo on the Indian Coins. Seems to be a lot better uh, engraved and it shows a lot more detail on the actual muscles. So we are talking about you know, the muscles here and the front paw as well as around the neck. And you can distinguish it from the background. This one seems to be a little bit uh, blurry. So then we have the errors on the Indian coin. So the major one that you should find is the dropped A, which is uh, the last A in Australia. You get a lot of die cracks, a lot of die cracks with the dropped A as well. Uh, small card, small card. Here we seem to have a, a card in between. No, it looks like that's the actual date system, so don't get that confused. That's just the four. But you should be able to find a card between the four and two, which we don't have there. 
And also there's a rotated one. So you need to turn it around. So it's not rotated. And also look for die cracks going around the rim. Or even going into the actual coin. And a lot of cuds or dots on the actual FPT. This one doesn't seem to have any. Which is a bit pity. Because it makes me sad. Okay. Then. Oh. Okay. Don't need that one. Uh, so here we have another one. Got a bit of crap on it. And. Oh. This one seems to be the drop day. So. So the A. New. Even though it curves around. Should actually lined up. And this one seems to be dropped a bit. And this one has not. So this is the drop day. So when you've got a drop day. Uh, you need to look for other errors. Okay. Then you look for the denticles. So this one doesn't have the large reverse denticles. In little beads. So that looks like beads. That looks like beads. And yeah, that one looks like beads. So there's no large tentacles on those ones. And let's have a look at the A. So the bottom. Okay, so one of those is a drop day, which is this one. And the other two are not. Okay, so Die crack, die crack, more die cracks, dots over kg. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So just pretty much the most interesting one you're going to find is the drop day. Uh, and then there's like every areas, you know, ram strike, broad strike, clip planchets. Yeah, they, they occur on every year. So that's not specific for this type of year. Okay, so did I check this one? They have a drop day, doesn't look like it. Do they have any other type of errors that I can see? No, not on the reverse. How about the obverse? No, and also see if HP is actually uh, quite small.